Yes, welcome once again to the physics optional class. Okay, so uh, which is the this is which lecture number? I don't remember properly. So somewhere around this is 40s, around the 40s. Okay, so whatever may be the lecture number, let's uh, see uh, we what we are going to learn in this class. If you haven't watched the previous classes, then kindly go to the link in the description and start watching from the first blue colored thumbnail you will understand each and everything if you watch in sequence from the first blue colored thumbnail onwards if you start watching then you will understand everything okay if you want to uh, see quantum physics then you can uh, go to the same playlist and uh, in, in the same playlist from the first lecture onwards if you start watching that will be your quantum physics which is not over yet okay Quantum physics is not over yet, but, but uh, I suddenly started nuclear and particle physics because there was a two, two and two and a half months gap in between in which I was not available. So in that gap, uh, in that gap of two and two, 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 two and a half, three months, um, uh, my link was broken. So that's why I started with nuclear and particle physics instead of quantum mechanics. But I will once again start with quantum mechanics. Okay, once again I will start with it. But uh, after I am done with rest of the topics of paper two, okay. After that I will once again start with your uh, uh, quantum mechanics. Okay. So let's say start with binding energy. But before starting with binding energy, I would like to tell you that. Uh, uh, in Delhi, a lot of uh, co uh, coaching uh, centers. Okay, in Delhi, I have seen that uh, a fraud. A lot of frauds are going on. Okay, frauds means uh, financial frauds. What kind of financial frauds? Okay, financial fraud means uh, they will uh, promise you to give quality lectures and etc. But uh, they they will give you nothing in return. So for example, if you purchase something, then there should be quality, right? But they don't give quality. So a lot of frauds, financial frauds, uh, 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 such uh, a lot of such institutions uh, have uh, gr grown up in Delhi, uh, just like mushrooms. Okay. So there are a lot of them. So be a beware of them. Okay. Otherwise, you will lose a lot of money. There are a lot of them in Delhi. I don't want to name them. And uh, one one person was also asking uh, regarding the best coaching. Okay. Best coaching for UPSC. Best coaching for UPSC. One per person was asking. So, best coaching for UPSC. Uh, according to me. Uh, according to me is uh, an academy. According to me means uh, I have seen the students which the students tell me. So best coaching for UPSC I think uh, must be UPSC although I haven't uh, at my time when I was giving UPSC there was no an academy. So when I started my UPSC preparation in 2011 there was nothing called as an academy. And my la last attempt wa of mine was in 2016. So until 2016, there was no an academy. So best coaching for UPSC, I didn't know. know uh, uh, I was all studying offline. But uh, nowadays, uh, I have seen students when, whenever I talk to some students in Delhi, they say that an academy is good. Okay. They, they say so. Okay. Lot of them means uh, out of every uh, 10 students I ask, 7 or 8 will say that an academy is good. Okay. So you can try an, an academy if you want. I Although I am not here to promote an academy, but uh, best coaching for UPSC, someone was asking. So that's why I answered that maybe an academy might be the best one for UPSC. Okay. So that's the thing. So binding energy. Let's start with binding energy. Although I am not saying that uh, other are not good, others also might be good, some others might also be good. But uh, the students are telling me that uh, amongst the online coachings, an academy seems to be the best. Okay, 
they call they say so and uh, the, the beware of these financial frauds a lot of them are there they will promise you to give 100 percent uh, personal attention and etc a lot of the financial frauds have ar arisen in delhi okay so a lot of them are there so beware of them okay because uh, they will uh, uh, they will make you lose lot of money okay so binding energy binding energy is the energy released when a nucleus is formed okay so what is your binding energy binding energy is the energy released and i had already told you that very few people are there who do upsc without coaching okay it is very difficult to do upsc without coaching although physics optional i can promise you that you can do without coaching but for gs you have you will have to join the coaching there is no other option some coaching you have to join for gs although for physics optional i can promise you to give complete coverage over here okay and mentorship also if you want you can join the mentorship with me so binding energy is the energy released binding energy is the energy released when a nucleus is formed now whenever a nucleus is formed out of the constituent nucleons i had already told you this then whenever nucleus is formed out of constituent nucleons then energy some amount of energy is released in this process okay so that uh, the, that uh, binding energy that is called as basically your binding energy which comes on account of mass defect okay this binding energy comes on account of mass defect so binding energy is the energy released when a nucleus is formed it is also defined now you only tell me that when when uh, out of constituent nucleons suppose these are your constituent nucleons and suppose a nucleus is formed out of this constituent nucleons so some energy is released in this process some energy is released okay minus minus delta e will be released now tell uh, just tell me that if you if i want the opposite process to happen if i want the opposite process to happen that is the uh, bounded nucleus uh, bounded nucleus to be broken down binded nucleus to be broken down into the individual nucleons if i want then i will have to supply the same amount of energy then i will have to supply the same amount of energy so this the magnitude although the sign will be opposite one will, in the first case it will be minus delta e minus because energy will be released so minus sign will be there and in the uh, uh, opposite case while breaking down plus sign will be there because energy needs to be supplied in this case so so but the magnitude will be same sign although the sign will be opposite but the magnitude will be the same so binding energy may also be defined like this then okay it is also defined as minimum energy required to break a stable nucleus minimum energy required to break a stable nucleus okay minimum energy required to break a stable nucleus so very easy i told you that uh, binding energy as yes, binding energy is equal to your delta mc square okay delta m into c square this is what is your binding energy where delta m is the mass defect so it is energy equivalent to mass defect okay it is energy equivalent because it is einstein energy mass mass energy equivalence formula right so it is energy equivalence it is energy equivalent to mass defect
right it is energy equivalent to mass defect thus from einstein's mass energy equivalence relation thus from thus from einstein's mass energy equivalence relation binding energy is given as eb is equal to delta m c square okay so or we can also call it like this okay or eb is equal to this we have this formula we have already derived in the previous class this one okay now if someone does not know this formula then it will be difficult for him or her to follow the class because this formula has already been derived in the previous class okay this formula for mass defect this particular formula this particular formula for mass defect has already been derived in the previous class so if someone amongst you has hasn't watched the previous classes then uh, i am really sorry that he will he or she will have to watch the previous blue colored thumbnail classes and uh, will have to come back at this at this class only then he or she will be able to understand the complete concept okay now this is the energy in basically your joules okay all these weights are in kilograms what is this all weights ni no, all masses i should say not weights okay all masses are in kilograms all masses are in kilograms and energy obtained is in joule okay energy obtained by this formula is in joule because all the si units you will keep over here so velocity you will, you will keep in meter per second right in this formula velocity also you will keep in meter per second masses you will keep in kilogram so you will obtain the energy in joule as a result because of si units okay now you are one one u or atomic mass unit okay unified mass or now one u or one a u mu one u means what is u unified mass okay and both are this both these both are same okay and this is what atomic mass unit and both of these are same so this is basically equivalent to your 931 mega electron volt okay this is equivalent to your 931 mega electron volt what does this mean this simply means that when when one u when one u or one atomic mass unit of energy uh, of mass is destroyed okay 931 mega electron volts of energy is released that means in the formula delta e is equal Is equal to m c square. Okay, not this formula. In the formula, E is equal to delta m c square. In this particular formula, when I put the value of delta m, okay, when I put the value of delta m, uh, equal to a one a m u, okay, and I put it in kgs. Whatever will be the value in kgs, I put it. Suppose, okay. i put its value 1 amu value what, whatever 1 amu equals to in kg it will be multiplied by 10 to the power minus 27 kg something okay so when i put its value in kg over here 1 amu value in kg over here and uh, multiply it by c square in meter per second i obtain some value in joule and after i obtain that value in joule and i convert it into electron volt that converts comes out to be 931 mega electron volt 
so instead of doing all this panchayat all this uh, 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 unnecessary calculations what we do is we do a shortcut what shortcut we do we instead of putting it in kilogram we will put in amu okay and instead of writing c square over here we will do one thing one amu equivalents to this this formula when i converted to kg and calculated i found that one amu was equal to 931 mega electron volt so instead of making this formula just make the formula like this delta m in amu okay and one amu equivalents to how much energy 931 mega electron volts so just multiply them so this will be your energy in mega electron volts okay so such is the shortcut trick which we have applied so we will use the shortcut formula instead of the formula in kilograms okay so what does the shortcut formula look like let's see now so i hope you have understood this so now so if all the masses so if all the masses in this particular equation one okay if all the masses in the equation one are in are in amu then binding energy is given us then then the binding energy is given as what will it be given as your eb binding energy is equal to eb that will be simply delta m delta m is your same as the previous thing this formula we have already derived so this is the formula for delta m delta m is like this and one with this way when, when we take this in atomic mass unit one atomic mass unit releases uh, 931 mega electron volt so we will take this so per per um, per amu is 931 so delta m amu will be delta m into 931 okay so 931 mega electron volt so this is the binding energy which we got in mega electron volts okay so this is the thing so in this way we can calculate the binding energy in mega electron volts so we will instead of using that formula in kgs usually the formula this formula is usually asked in exam okay usually asked in exam numerical based on this is ex usually asked in exam instead of this okay although it may ask uh, UPSC is uh, basically unpredictable exam so the, the formula based uh, based on this formula also by taking all the values in kg and velocity in meter per second and converting it and taking the values and uh, the, all those values the energy will be in joules so that thing based on that concept also the question can be asked in upsc actually but uh, usually it is seen usually it is seen that they ask the question based on this because in this the calculation is not complicated in this particular formula the calculation becomes very easy and in that si units formula the formula in which si units are used that formula becomes very tedious in calculation but university uh, sorry upsc is unpredictable so as upsc is unpredictable you have to uh, remember both the formulas okay you cannot rely on only one formula so packing fraction we, we will learn about packing fraction but uh, i we will learn about it in the next class thank you very much